Morning guys, Chris here. Uh, just a quick update. Some of you this morning wanted me to just go over RSI briefly with you um, and how I've used it in my trading. Um, so what I'll do is just crack on and show it to you quickly. Okay, I have sterling cable on the chart. Um, I have gone back. I'm using daily charts um, just to give you... The, I'll, I'll do the analysis on this daily chart just to give you that. Um, relative strength index in a brief form is just plotting uh, bullish and bearish sentiment in relation to um, previous highs and lows in trading ranges. Um, ultimately what it is, you have a 50% line, you have a 30% line, and you have a 70% line. Now, primarily all it's doing is, if you see the RSI, Relative Strength Index line, below 50 period, or percent line, sorry, you should see bearish sentiment. If it's trading above the 50% line, then you should see bullish moves. Okay, and if I just grow my line, you'll notice if I had to look over here, for example, you'll notice straight away, there, we have a sell opportunity. The line is below 50, so we should be seeing sh uh, uh, bearish movement. And if I show you in a bullish setup, bearish trading above 50, lines up, you should see bullish movement. Anywhere along here, you see the lines where it's trading above, you should see buy and sell. Now this will only, you obviously got to take this in consideration, you're not going to be looking for buy and sell areas if you are around support and resistance. So just bear that in mind. It's important that you understand it. Okay, so what we're seeing is how RSR can give you divergence and conversion signals. A uh, good example of here, for example, you'll see how we've seen a huge sell off. For those of you who worked with projection tools, you could have done a quick projection. So there to there to there. You're seeing straight away, it's done a 100% move of that. So we should see a bit of a, um, a pullback some sort of consolidation which you saw here it's broken down to the downside now this is where you can put other things onto your chart like relative strength for example and this is where we have a bit of um, uh, it, it, things just don't match up uh, for example you're seeing down movement you can see how price is still moving to the downside but my relative strength is on the up now if this was still um, bearish then we would rather see relative strength still below 30 or, or around 30 confirming that bearish move but in this case over here we're having price move sideways and then we've seen some some selling off early but we're seeing more of a bullish sentiment in this and um, this is where it can be really really handy so straight away you can see that around this area over here we're having a bit of a confluence of uh, we're having a, um, a sort of a headbutting where we're having the chart saying one thing but our indicator is pointing to another so we keep I'll just move it day by day and you'll see how relative strength is now gaining strength we have been we have seen a break below a, a, a strong support and resistance line so a lot of people would have gone short here but if you had been using relative strength you would have noticed that we were seeing some bullishness in it so I use it when I say heads up. Hold on a moment. This is this this, this is just con contrary to the to to what the chart's telling me, um, and a lot of people get caught like this, and and hence why I use relative strength in the RSR to help me out um, looking for these um, these fake breakouts. Um, so in this case over here, we're seeing price move above. So ideally, what you could do now, if seeing this, is you could either enter and then you get another bar signal. Or if you wanted to, you could be very conservative and take it above the previous swing. Because what you do when you trade, you, you take your trades on the previous swings. So if I just drew a quick line over here, your entry level could be above that. Or when we, we get another, on your strategy, you get another bar signal. So there we go. We have a bar signal, still below 50, but momentum is now shifted. You can see that we're seeing more to... Ideally, you could wait for the for the RSI to break above 50, or you could buy above 
that um, and then have a look at that as a potential target um, and ultimately that to be a potential target okay and you can see as I move it forward you could have bought share change in market sentiment told me that we weren't going to see any more selling and we saw totally different and now we are here on a daily chart okay so you would have made three or four hundred pips in the last two weeks or so good money if you ask me i hope this has been uh, beneficial to you um yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend guys